Hey there, it is Chanel here from The Heart and Soul with your weekly oracle card reading for May 24th through the 30th, 2021. Uh, I'm gonna use the Animal Tarot deck of cards again. Uh, I was guided to these back again. Um, I have been up and stair and downstairs a little bit, uh, although it's a bit of a challenge with the cast on, but I definitely was drawn to these ones one more week uh, instead of picking a new deck. So let's pull three cards to see what's happening for this coming week. Again, just a little bit of spiritual guidance to help you maneuver through the week to see what you need to be prepared for or what, oh, there's number one and number two, what you need to know to make the best of your week to move through it with ease and grace. All right, three cards. Card number one. Three of Spring, it's a sea turtle, and it says stop to take time to review and make long-term plans. Important right now, as that is the focus, is our future. Capitalizing upon your past successes. Learn from what you've already done in the past. That is from the learning opportunities as well as those successes. It is appropriate to, to pat yourself on the back for all your accomplishments, but you may also need patience for the next phase to play out. All right. Card number two, Ace of Winter is a panda. Implementation of your brilliant new idea may get off to a rocky start. So two cards now in a row are talking about having patience in this movement forward. And let me say, I really feel that there's this huge energetic shift coming, that we are on the cusp of something big. The veil is very thin, Things, energy is very explosive in a good way, um, but I do feel like fruition, things are actually coming into place, will take some time. End of the card. Um, rocky start, but keep going. The challenges will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals into something even better. We've talked about this a lot lately too, this piece of being able to pivot, being adaptable. I told you the story last week about trying to book my Reiki master teacher and having to adjust how I got to that end process and being okay with that. I feel like there's a lot of that happening as well. I feel like some of you are trying to take the hard road and the universe is trying to show you the easier way to get there. Also, the universe is trying to show you what the road or, or the modality is that's going to get you where you want to go. A lot of people are getting stuck on their training and the modality as a single thing. And I feel like a lot of what we're doing right now is pulling in all the skill sets that we have to move ourselves forward, whether that's business or personal career, um, you name it. This feels like having to pull from all of the different aspects, but most importantly, staying in tune and staying connected to our spiritual selves. Our last card today is the Queen of Autumn, uh, thoughtful, caring, creative, and genius. It's a Belgian hair. You will be given advice that's both practical and creative and it should be followed precisely. Focus only upon the positive in every situation or person. Well, focusing on the positive is always a really important aspect of what we are doing. If you have some of those I am mantras, they are huge. Create them in a very positive manner using words about what you want and not what you don't want. The other part of that is listening to that intuition and that guidance we're being given. That's not just our intuitive guidance, but guidance we're receiving from our mentors and people we trust in. This is important. Even when we're listening to those people, that intuition is going to kick in, that gut feeling, to let us know it is the right direction to move in. So really staying connected. That means being present in the moment, being present in your body, and being aware of what's happening around you. Observing, because in that observation, we're going to see what's working and what's not working. We're also going to be able to observe the signs, symbols, and messages that are being given to us so that we can accept that that knowledge that needs to be accepted to be able to move forward. This is a precarious time in the sense that we have to be very dedicated to our connection and to being present. We need to be very dedicated in listening clearly instead of painting those red flags with glitter so that we can ignore them. 
You need to pay attention to the signs that are happening and the directions that you're being pushed in. It is really important not to fight against it, but instead to go with the flow here. The more you fight, the harder it gets. Now is not the time to fight against the flow. Now is not the time to decide to not learn the life lessons that you have to learn. It's important to take on those life lessons and integrate them into the process and to moving forward. Let go of the past, embrace new habits, embrace new change, and move into the future that you really have dreamed about. You can create your own reality. You can create that dream life that you have always dreamed of. So go bigger, reach for the stars, and keep on going. I hope this helps uh, for you to make a plan to go into this week. I hope that it gives you a little touch of spiritual guidance to help you feel more connected and more aware of the energies that are happening around you. As always, thank you for being a part of my journey and allowing me to be part of yours. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff is so, so helpful. Also, if you're interested in a personal session, I am doing those over Zoom right now, and that gives you a recording afterwards. Uh, medical intuition, business intuition, as well as psychic and mediumship readings all together. Um, please feel free to reach out if you're interested in booking or head over to the website. Uh, I think that's about it from my heart and soul to yours. Have an amazing rest of your week.